So installing the auto scaler is very simple. There are two ways to ensure auto scaling happens. One is via Carpenter, other is cluster auto scaler. If you click on this link, it'll go to a GitHub page where there are prerequisites and permissions mentioned for this. I'll just copy these permissions and go to IAM. I'll create a new policy first. Apply all the permissions that I have copied. I'll create a policy with the name EKS Cluster Autoscaler. And once this is created, I'll go to roles and create a new role. So this role is for uh, EKS IRSA. I'll just ensure it has correct permissions. And in the subscription section, I need to mention the service account that we are going to use, which is Cluster Autoscaler. I'll add the policy and create this role. So we are going to use the OIDC based IRSA. We are not going to use access secrets. So once the permissions are set up, we need to ensure the auto scaling group that is created by our EKS cluster has a couple of tags mentioned there. One of the tags is cluster auto scaler enabled that must be set to true. And another tag is cluster auto scaler, then the name of our EKS cluster and the value is set to owned or shared. Anything works, but in our case, it's owned. Once we ensure we have these tags, just go to the examples and select the first file, cluster.scaler.yaml. I'll just create one on my system and paste whatever the contents are. In this, we need to update few sections. So we are using IRSA. That's why I'll just add an annotation here. And copy paste the ARN for the role where we assigned cluster auto scalar permissions. If you look at this file, you'll see there are cluster roles, bindings, roles and role bindings available for this setup. And if you scroll down, you'll see there are deployments. These deployments, we need to update a few things here. First is the image. So you can see the image ID is specific to the version of EKS cluster that we are using. If we are, if we are using 1.30, then we need to mention that. So this is a small mistake that I have done here. I'll just show how this will affect us. But if we go down, we can see we need to mention the name of our EKS cluster as well. So this is the tag that we just saw on the auto scaling group. And both of these tags should match whatever tags are present here. If you go down, you'll see there is a certificate mentioned here. If we are using managed nodes, then it's fine. If, if we have created custom AMIs, then we need to ensure the certificate paths are correct. I'll just apply this cluster autoscaler YAML file. And once the resources are created, I'll see that there is an error called image pull back off. And this error is because we have mentioned the image name incorrectly. If I look at the logs, I won't see anything. But there is one more mistake. So I'll just correct that before moving ahead. The role ARN that I mentioned that was incorrect, this would have given us permission issues. So I'll just update this. I'll scroll down to the image section and we need to mention a minor version as well. So I'll just add dot zero. And once I apply this configuration, you'll see that the cluster autoscaler ports are successfully created. And uh, if I check the logs for this particular pod, I can see that, yeah, it's it started uh, scheduling and stuff. So now I'll just uh, deploy a sample application with 20 replicas. And uh, 
if I look at the auto scaling group, I'll see a couple of instances are getting launched. On the EKS compute section, I'll see the nodes are getting added. They are not ready, but in a moment, they'll start getting ready. Once the nodes are ready, you can see the pods have been successfully deployed and they are in running state. Otherwise, they would have stuck in pending state. So that's all for this video. Please like and subscribe.